Hi there, this video is about cost utility analysis, which is a variant of cost benefit analysis. The acronym for it is CUA accordingly. And this is basically famous when it comes to health sector, because in health sector we have new technologies that should be assessed for their efficacy. So uh, in health sector we can use CUA extensively and it can be used for the evaluation of medicine and medical devices and various procedures. If we are launching these um, various options for better health, we can use this tool to analyze if they are superior to the other alternatives. And what we do is that we incorporate the quality and quantity of life. And this um, dual approach basically is going to allow us to assess the quality of life as well as quantity at the same time. When we incorporate both of these, it becomes CALI, which stands for Quality Adjusted Life Years. And in this, we incorporate the quality as well as the quantity of life. When it comes to quality of life, it is basically the utility from life. And uh, health can be in various states. And this utility can range from 0 to 1. We use this scale, which is quite convenient. So in this range, you can see that uh, death is represented with zero, no utility, and uh, perfect health is represented with one. So it means somewhere in the middle, there are various uh, states of health that show various levels of health. So now we will consider a situation where there are two states of health. First is H1 and the other one is H2. So these two states of health are there, and what we can do is we can take the number of years in first state of health, multiply it with the utility, with the first state of health. Then we can do the same product process with this, that is the health in other state, that is H2, and the number of years in the state of health, H2. Then we multiply them, so we get this uh, product we can add them in order to get the overall Kali that is quality adjusted life years and now we can make a diagram as well of this uh, Kali um, on x-axis we have taken life years and on y-axis we have taken the quality of life weighting it means that this is the quantity of life and this is the quality of life the weight definitely is from 0 to 1 as we saw earlier the maximum age here is 80, it can be more or less, but in this example we have 80. Now there are two possibilities, there is there can be a possibility of longer life but with um, a medium level of health that is 0.5. There is another possibility of having a shorter life but with a better state of uh, health that is 1. So this is a shorter life and it has a perfect health and we can say that 40 into 1, that is 40 into 1 will be the Kali of this. And in this case, this is a longer life, but it has a chronic disease, that is 80. And the health is represented with 0.5, not the best health, but somewhere in the middle. And it is also equal to 40 Kali. So incidentally, both are equal. Um, uh, there can be choice between this or that, that is a shorter life but better life in terms of health, longer life, but not the best health. In various situations, you can you will be able to find various levels of calories. And once if you have a higher cali, it means that the decision will be easier. Here, the choice is between a shorter and a longer life with perfect health or with chronic disease. However, if the cali of one of these is greater, then the decision will be easier. So in this way, this technology and that technology can be compared and any other set of possibilities can also be compared by finding the value of Kali's for various uh, technologies in the health sector. So this was another variant of cost-benefit analysis quite specific to the health sector when it comes to the evaluation of medicines, medical devices and procedures, etc. Thank you.